Hello, so today we're going to install a Harbach a mod. It's the SK201 soft key. In fact, I'll show you what the instructions look like here. There they are right there. The SK201 soft key version uh, 3.1, which tells you how to do the assembly. First of all, you have to assemble the uh, board. And so I've done that. And there it is right there to the best of my ability. And uh, let me tell you, I uh, I never worked at a place doing soldering, so this is all, uh, <laughs> well, I got it done. Let's put it that way. And uh, hopefully, correctly, it's going to go in here. So according to the directions that are very thorough, by the way, it's about eight inches from the right side over here to uh, right there, and then about four and a half inches from the bottom to there. So that's where the uh, hole will go and what the hole is for it's for you to install this little guy right here uh, this little standoff uh, and uh, that will hold the board in place and um, and so that's where it's going to go and then of course from there you connect the wires uh, and this little guy here to the proper place in here so that's what we're going to do so we're going to uh, take a quick break and we'll be right back i have to drill the hole first which is, I believe, oh, let me take a look. It says, um, very carefully drill a hole that will clear a number 6-32 screw, which is a number 27 drill. And um, don't use too much pressure. It says uh, you want the drill to stop just after penetrating the chassis and then clean up any burrs and so forth. So we're going to do that. All right, so uh, here we are back. I did drill the hole, and it just uh, is a perfect uh, fit for my screw. That will, in fact, I did, I did a test and I made sure it would fit in the hole and it does. There we go. So now what we'll do is I'll have to stand this thing up on its side and then you mount the board in there. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do next. And so I'll, uh, next step, mounting the board. All right, so here we are back at the amplifier. And so the next step in the process is to install this little uh, two lug piece right here. And so to do that, you need to locate this guy. It's a five lug, there you go. This is a five lug um, standoff that everything's connected to here, as you can see. And they have a real good picture of it over here. They show, it's called Q, that's the Q, and it has the uh, capacitor coming off of there, off center lug, and it shows the little uh, 0.02 over there. So that's the right one, which is, oopsie, right there. So we found that located it. You loosen this screw down there, this, uh, this little guy here from the other side. Uh, loosen that, which is not easy to do because you got all these wires in the way. Be a lot easier to unsolder those probably. I managed to get it done, believe it or not. A little bit of ingenuity. I put some black electrical tape on an eraser to hold that nut back. And uh, anyway, so it's now installed. So next step will be to locate the proper areas where these wires are going to go. And so that's what we're going to do. And then eventually we'll install the little board right there. So we'll be right back. All right. So we're returning now to uh, the next step. So the next step in this process is to locate the 33 ohm one watt resistor uh, going from the center conductor of the antenna relay jack on rear panel to the solder lug at the end of the primary voltage strip. They want us to unsolder the resistor from center conductor of the relay jack and move the end so that goes through the insulated terminal on the two lug uh, strip we just installed. So uh, the location that is right there, there you can see it, the orange with the uh, two orange with the black. So it goes, it gets, it's connected there. So I have to unsolder that and leave that little disc capacitor in place. But I need to unsolder that end and then swing this around and go through the insulated lug right here. So, so this resistor is going to be over there. So that's our next step. All right, so we're back, and now we've gone ahead and installed the, um, the little board where it goes. And you want to install the board so that the MOSFET here is that way, away from you know the heat here. And so that's how that goes. Next step will be to install, you know, connect all the wires to the proper connections. And as you can see, we did move this uh, resistor over here. It's just loosely fitting here. It's not, it's not in here yet. So uh, it, it'll be uh, soldered in eventually, 
but uh, not yet. And so uh, the next step is to connect the black wire from the SK201 circuit board to the ground lug of the two lug terminal strip installed. And then also connect the yellow and shows where to do that. So we're going to start working on those connections and I'll show you where they all go after I'm done. All right, so just really quickly, uh, what we've done now is uh, we've uh, done the next few steps. We've connected to the black, the yellow, and the blue wire. The uh, black wire goes to the grounding lug right here, the one that we just installed. So that's where that goes. Uh, then the next one was the yellow wire, and that one went to the resistor. So now the resistor is now uh, soldered along with the yellow wire coming from the mini board. And then finally the blue wire, which we did, goes to the relay, uh, the center of the relay connection, which we took the um, resistor from, which was over here down below. So I've routed that blue wire down there and it's uh, soldered to that center lug there. And so now we're at that point, we only have a couple more wires to go. We've got the red and the green and um, we'll uh, read the instructions and go from there, but we'll be back uh, in just a moment. All right, so now uh, for me, uh, the challenging one was to uh, this green wire right here. Uh, I'll show you the thing. Let's do with my finger. This one, yeah, this one here, as you can see, I've now soldered it to lug three, which is uh, right there. And they, they do show you where it goes. The hard part was getting it through this very tight grommet full of wires that comes out. And I had to push this wire through there. I was able to do it once you get it through. Um, I mean, it's not easy. I managed to do it. Uh, I've got big fingers, so, uh, but that's the grommet there. comes from the other side, which um, I will show you. Uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll rotate this over just one moment. Okay, so here we are back uh, for the final time, and um, there's the bottom of the amp. As you can see, this particular one had the uh, new um, power supply board put in uh, when I got it. I don't know why they didn't put a soft key in there or a soft start, but they did do that. And so I took it upon myself to try this. And again, I am a very unskilled person. Don't look too close at the soldering, you'll laugh. But it's in there and I believe it's working. I made all the proper connections. The last two that we had to make was the red wire here, which goes to this uh, second lug here, the negative end of this capacitor and on this end of the diode there. And that's where that goes. And then that green wire, I snuck around. It recommends you go underneath these wires and down through that grommet. It's just, it's right there. Um, take your time. Uh, I used a very tiny screwdriver and kind of gently nudged some of the wires out of the way. That helped, but uh, that's how I did it. And this is my uh, version of the SK201 uh, soft key. I will fire it up and make sure it's working, but um, if I have any negative comments, I'll be back. Anyway, uh, Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got over a thousand videos. I don't do how to's at all, uh, but I wanted to do this. This is my personal amplifier. I'm uh, going to be using it with my uh, Yaesu FT710. Uh, you know, I don't use amplifiers very often, but um, got one now. Thank you.